Hey guys, um, April 15th, 2021, and we're gonna feed the uh, big tank, 4,500 gallon with the jumbos. We're gonna do uh, uh, 10 pounds, 10 pounds of uh, herring, each about uh, six to eight inches. That's the first five pounds. I don't like the light. I always feed them in the in the dim light. So uh, bright light throws them off and. Uh, makes them a bit apprehensive. The red tails are still in the Migratory, migratory or courtship mood, so they don't need that much, except for this one, this one male, more or less, this guy. The new younger male, it's okay, but the other three just a little bit. That's the other male. beta female, alpha male, beta female, beta male that's young and eats a lot, and the uh, alpha female in the corner over there. Jowl catfish is kind of spoiled. You saw how a jowl was uh, not taking the 
herring at first, but now it comes over and grabs, grabs them and swallows them. Preferably head first, doesn't like tail first. But again, Jao, this is Azula. His or her name is Azula. A spoiled fish. It's the alpha fish of the, of the tank. I don't know if you can tell, but the three red tails that are engaged in courtship, they got noticeably thinner. They haven't had a good meal. Not because I don't offer them, I offer them as usual, but because they don't partake. They haven't had a good meal in, uh, in a couple of months, I would say. Maybe even three months. Piraiba takes its time and uh, it's usually the last one to start feeding. It's the most apprehensive of the tank mates.
also changed its behavior a lot, the Timensis. It's claiming that corner over there. It's also not eating much. And it chases others from that corner. Which is, um, I tentatively also attribute it to courtship. Or to some kind of uh, breeding change. A change due to a breeding behavior. It used to be right here in the in the upper left corner. Now it is in the back right corner for some reason. And it used to not care for other fish, but now it, it, the peacock is chasing everybody from that corner every now and then. come up and grab a few fish at a time. I don't know if you can see but somebody bit the tail of the um, Indian shovel nose, the one I had trouble with. So far, so good. But uh, it's been, it had been very good after I put it back in there, back in here. But about two or three days ago, somebody bit its tail. So I'm watching it uh, for any more damage. If any more damage ensues, I might have to take it out again. But this seems to be. Seem, seemed to have been a, an isolated incident. It hasn't had any more additional damage in the, in the last half a week or so. still is hesitant. Even Paco take with the fish and chomp them up and swallow. I'm sure you saw in the beginning the uh, JLO catfish, Cephylocyrus aparensis came up and uh, that fish is usually satisfied with three, four, at most five herring. Parun is trying to steal the herring from the big Paco. <laughs> while there is a pile lying right there in the corner. Shuraiba took the first one.
second one. Kuraiba can put away about easily 20, 20 or 30 of these uh, herring. I usually offer it about once a week, sometimes uh, once every four or five days. Once Piraiba starts taking them, it, it has a good appetite. It's going to take them one, one at a time or a few at a time. are funny that way. This is Suriname Piraiba. I have uh, two Peru Piraiba which are much more uh, assertive and they feed, tend to start feeding right away without hesitation. But this, uh, the biggest one, the Suriname that we have, it's very hesitant and apprehensive and uh, if anybody's feeding in the vicinity, it usually avoids going to where the food is until the, that corner or that spot clears and everybody's gone from there, then it feeds fine. But as long as somebody's there, half the time it will just shy away. Just like you saw right now. Seems like Piraiba already got about 10, 10 or more of the herrings. It's doing laps around the tank and it's trying to get at least one or two herring on each lap. That's our feeding for tonight. Thank you for watching, guys.